Hey, so like a lot of people want to know if uh, rubbing alcohol can whiten your teeth. Um, unfortunately, the answer is is no. Um, for two reasons. Uh, number one, you shouldn't be putting rubbing alcohol into your mouth, and number two, it does not uh, contain any whitening uh, material in it, so it, it, it will not whiten your teeth. So like first of all, you know you should read the warning label of the rubbing alcohol if you ever get the chance. Right? If we turn to behind and under warnings, it says for external use only if taken internally serious gastric disturbances will result um, in other words you should not be putting this anywhere near your mouth at all because that's not what it's meant to do um, and then you know the, the second point is that it does not actually contain any um, you know, whitening ingredients or whitening material in in the product so if we look at some typical you know teeth whitening products that do actually whiten your teeth um, generally they all contain a uh, hydrogen peroxide or some sort of derivative of it so we look at the label on the box right here under ingredients you'll see um, hydrogen peroxide right there and then if we look at like a different whitening product like the teeth whitening pen right here by Colgate um, you look at the box somewhere ingredients right there it does have hydrogen peroxide right there so that's how it, it uh, whitens your teeth right and then you also have like the whitening toothpaste here see by Colgate Optic White Pro Series has 5% hydrogen peroxide. So, so these these will whiten your teeth because they have uh, peroxide in there. Um, and then like another interesting point I just wanna point out to you guys is that the most like quote unquote whitening toothpastes, you see this one here by David's, it says whitening on here. But, but, but these don't actually uh, chemically bleach your teeth like the ones that contain peroxide because they do, do not contain any peroxide at all. I mean, you can read through all of the labels here, but there is no peroxide in there. So, so, so there's a big difference in teeth whitening capabilities between like a toothpaste like David's versus the Pro Series Colgate that has actually has 5% hydrogen peroxide in there. You know. But we can kind of uh, take a look at some other toothpaste too, like Colgate. Colgate has a baking soda and peroxide here, right? Um, this one, it sort of does contain peroxide, if I remember, calcium peroxide right there. But it doesn't list a percentage on there. It's pretty far down the ingredient list. I would say it's the, it's most likely less than like one percent in here. So. Uh, efficiency wise and effectiveness wise I think this is probably the most effective uh, uh, teeth whitening toothpaste on the market right now uh, aside from that there is also one other interesting fact that you may want to know about and that is uh, you know that uh, rubbing alcohol could be used to remove stains right it is actually very uh, effective at removing inorganic stains or in other words like ink stains Right, so so people sometimes people think that because rubbing alcohol can remove stains, it can also remove stains on your teeth. But the key point is that the rubbing alcohol removes inorganic stains, which means the molecules do not have a carbon atom uh, carbon atom in there. Um, the stains that we accumulate on our teeth are all organic stains, so it does not work, right? Because the the foods that we eat are organic, right? We eat organic foods, right? I mean. Well, some have growth hormones, but 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 generally, the what we mean by organic foods is that the, uh, the 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 molecules have like a carbon atom in there, right? And we only eat organic stuff and not inorganic stuff, right? So therefore, our teeth get stained with organic molecules and not inorganic molecules. So so yeah, so I mean, this will not remove stains on your teeth, but it will help you uh you know dilute out the ink stains in your pen pocket holder on your shirt right? and that's it for some interesting facts all right